Here's Trudy and Delilah. And Delilah's taking a bath this morning and loving it up. She just is like splashing water everywhere, having a good time. Flashing it on me, clear over here. We're getting ready to leave and go to a little town, not too far away, that has a spring. And we always go over there and fill up this big container we have with water, because that water is so good to drink. I just love it. A little spoiled that way. Anyway, Trudy's like, I'm gonna stay right here by you in case you need help. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. is going through a little town that we go to on the way to my daughter's house. It's also on the way to the little town where the spring is, where we get water, but we go over the creek up here. It's really pretty. When we come back through, I'll get us at the top of the hill and we'll go see that little church that's at the top of the hill. It's really, really cute. <clears throat> All the trees around it are beautiful. Of course, why wouldn't it be? framing that little church. Indiana is gorgeous this time of year. It really is. Absolutely beautiful. Some more trees. I mean, I just think it's so pretty. through here. I can't see if somebody's coming because it's so high with the corn. It's my daughter's home. Both my girls live together and that's their house. Looks like we got implements on the road. Pretty on this side. Here is the cob mill. The corn cob mill. <laughs> There's all the big heaps of corn cobs back there. Don't find water. But anyway. Kind of hard to see some of this stuff. There's the cobs. <laughs> Here's the actual mill. <laughs> Pretty big little operation. Anyway, we're gonna go to this road up here, which is 218. We're gonna go to the 218 market. We're gonna get some uh, spices out there that I need. And we'll probably pick up some hay, because it's fairly cheap there. And see if they have any good baked goods that, woo, I have an interest in. <laughs> Never know. It is Veterans Day today. My daddy was a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. Salute, daddy. So I might get him a little goodie while we're out here. Alright, this is the 218 market. We've been coming here for quite a while since they opened. We used to go to another spot. What their old store? We were there one day and this guy pulled in and <laughs> let the ladies out and they went into shop and next thing you know, we were like, anyway, so bam, and the truck ran into the building, knocked all of the jars and the cans off the wall. They went flying everywhere. There was about four of us in there and we were all picking them up and putting them back in shelves and carts and 
wherever we could stick them. It was a mess. It was like, wow, we had no idea what had happened. It was scary. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go in there and uh, we'll go in the greenhouse too here. Just give me a minute. Anyway, I guess they got the greenhouse closed already. But it's over there. Anyway, got some really pretty stuff out here. But they always do, what can I say? <laughs> it's always beautiful, I think. I think that all the things you can grow in a garden is beautiful anyway, so. And some apples up there. There's all kinds of pretty stuff. We're gonna go inside and uh, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. King wanted me to show you the shocks of corn stalks out there. I'm gonna fill my basket. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Here's one barn. It's got the tractor on there. Oh, I always thought that barn was pretty cool. It's uh needs some work on it. It's been weathered pretty good here <laughs> lately, so they need to get some maintenance on there, but it's pretty cool, huh? And there's another one up here, not too far. I think it's like the next one, isn't it, Kane? The next decent barn. I love these houses out here. They're gorgeous. I mean, the great big old brick homes like this. I love those. I love just driving around looking at the farmland. The old farmhouses. That is a pretty house. Really pretty. I think the next farm is right up here, isn't it? Like this place here. barn as well. <laughs> it's pretty though. All right, we're gonna go get some groceries just a little bit. So we're gonna head into a little town called Delphi. Pick up some stuff there. And then we'll go get our water and head home. We are almost in the uh, parking lot of the grocery store. I just wanted to tell you that we loaded up our straw. Woo! That was railroad tracks. Load up our straw. We had to put uh, plastic bags on them. Um, trash bags on them because we're in the car and we had the truck in the shop getting fixed so we had to do something I wasn't gonna have it all over the car but anyway we ended up buying a couple of coffee mugs in there they had just gotten them in I saw one on the counter and it had pins in it and I asked the fellow about it and he said yeah we just got those I said what colors do you have and he said I think it's just green and, and red and I said you don't have any blue <laughs> and he said I don't think so he goes, I'll check it out for you. So he went back to the office because they haven't even unpacked but the two that was out with pins in them. And so he uh, did find a blue one after all. So Kane did get a blue mug and I got my red one. So I'll show them to you here in a second. I'll set them up on the dash here before we go into the grocery. There they are. Aren't they pretty? Kane's favorite color is blue. I always have a tendency to like red and they had a green too, but I love red. So we got the red one and the blue one. So anyway, I guess we're going to take off here and maybe check out a couple barns real quick. Be back in a minute. Well, learned a lesson in there. Their prices have gone sky high. I thought this place was supposed to be cheap. Save a lot, not. <laughs> anyway, $4.49 for a small container of oatmeal. You guys, it's outrageous prices are, but I'll tell you what, we got two huge containers or what do you call it, packages. Flat flats of pork chops that are like a good inch thick easy um when we get home i'll show them to you i was really happy with those prices because they were only like 14 bucks each i think one was 14 maybe one was 16 but shoot there had to be like 10 or 12 of them in each package so that's awesome oh well we're heading out i'm gonna go get some water
one of these days I'm going to break that thing off of it. This is the old church I was telling you about. It's a really pretty one. And they have church here once a month. The trees this time of the year are just magnificent. This place is not too far from our house. We'll check it out. It's where we go kayaking in the summer. This is not too far from home. Get some exercise and get on the water and get cooled off and just chill for a while, listen to some music and take her easy. And, uh, load it up and go home when you're done. And you're home within like 10 minutes, so not bad. Usually there's limbs and everything across the road. I, I think one time we came through here and there wasn't something across the road. There's two different ways to get down in here though, thank goodness, because otherwise lots of times you wouldn't be able to get through. Better look down there before you go that way, okay, and to make sure that it is clear. Whew. There we go. With all these leaves, we'll just slide down the hill. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> That's pretty steep. But it's really pretty. Go. I mean, it's really pretty. I like your town. Just how pretty it is with the rain without getting out. Go up that way, Kane, so I can get out from behind this bush. Rain's pretty on the water. It goes way back there. Okay, we're gonna go up this hill here. See how bumpy this gets. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. It's like almost four-wheeling half the time back here anyway. And if you don't have four-wheel drive, some of these times when it's raining and stuff, you won't get out. <laughs> oh, tires wet the skin, that's all the leaves. this way. Let me see if I can get this down down here. Ooh, that's squeaking. Anyway, you access it there. 
you can take a boat down there. That's all right. Then you can walk all the way back there around to the other side. Then there's this access point, which is actually the Wildcat Creek. And you can um, take your kayak down here and get on the creek if you want to. Pretty wide there too. That's a lot of water. I'll go check it out and show you. I'm already soaked, so I may as well, right? So come over this way. There's a clearing. It's really pretty down through here. show you this other part where we put in it. You want to get your little canoe or boat or kayak or whatever down here. Some of this paved, some of it's not, and underneath the leaves I really can't tell what's what, so I hope I don't fall. I don't think I'm going to go down here too far because these leaves are pretty thick. <laughs> I don't want to fall on my butt. I guess I'll go down here until I get we're, uh, yeah, I guess like, I can do okay. It's kind of ribbed under here. It's got like, got these concrete like that. So you don't fall or anything, but it's really pretty down here. It goes right down here to the water. It's really gorgeous. It goes all the way down there. The tree going across it. Anyway, it's really pretty. There's not too many people back here ever either. It's not like super busy. You see way down in there, it turns to the left and goes back that way. Anyway, it's a really pretty area. Sycamores over there are gorgeous. Getting back to the car though. Oh. And up the hill. <laughs> There's Kane. <laughs> anyway, this hill's pretty intense. Can't really tell on the camera, but it is. Well, I'll see you back in the car. All right, we are leaving. So you got some trees some people pulled up out of the way, I noticed. We were gonna go back where we started from, but I'm wet. I just want to get dried off. So I think we're going to head on home. It's very pretty here though. I mean, it's hard to see with all the rain and through the window, but it is pretty. It's a nice little lake just to get away from everything and take a half day off <laughs> and chill. <laughs> so do it on the weekend and still get your work done. Kane went into the Harbor Freight to get some tarps for some stuff we need for winterizing the uh, bees, um, which is a job we were supposed to do today, but with the weather, that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> we need to also 
build a rabbit cage and move our rabbits and dispatch a few rabbits. We have quail that needs to be sexed and put into their prospective cages according to the ratio, females to males. Um, we need to hang the kayaks up and get them ready for the winter and all that stuff from kayaking put away. We need to trim some goat hooves before winter comes. I got to do that hopefully within the next week. Um, we need to clean out the lean-to and get hay put up in there. And I've got canning I need to get done, which I always have canning to do. And that goat fence. The goat fence needs to be taken care of. We're going to take down all the goat fence that we have now. We're putting up cattle panels. Our boys um, ruined the goat fence on one side. With, of course, they have horns. And so they just get rambunctious when the girls come in and... It's crazy town, so we always take them down low when that happens to the lower paddock. But we just have some things we need to get done with that in the goat pen, get it ready for winter too. So we're going to be doing a lot of stuff, and you can come right back and check us out and probably see us do it all, because I'm going to try to see if I can get most of it on camera so you can check it out. But uh, I appreciate you coming by and going with us today. It's kind of a weird little video, but... <laughs> Looking at this guy who just came out of the store who's got guns on both hips. He's got radios on him everywhere. He's got a badge on his waist. He's wearing all black. A black regular baseball cap. And I think he even has some uh, handcuffs on him. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, Kane's coming back, so I'm going to go. Thanks for coming by. Um, subscribe if you can. We'd appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you like the video us running around or not. I mean, you may not like that kind of thing. If, if you don't, let me know. Take care.